Hello, welcome back to another video. <laughs> this is my 95 Land Cruiser FZJ80. I went ahead and installed a new head unit. This is the Auto F7XE Wireless. <laughs> I'll go ahead and put a link in the video description. <laughs> but today's video <laughs> is not a review or anything like that. It's more like a first impression slash troubleshooting because I am having some issue with this radio and I'm pretty sure it's not the radio's fault. It's probably the wiring or the, the way it's set up with my car so when i bought this <coughs> i removed it i removed my original radio and on the original radio there's three plugs one plug that goes into the original factory radio and then two plugs that were just there hanging around but they were all bundled together <laughs> now i didn't know so i went ahead and chopped the factory radio and i thought that i was gonna splice those factory wires into the, this wires <laughs> but i found out that no <laughs> you're not supposed to do that <laughs> those two plugs that were by themselves you're supposed to buy a wire harness that plugs into those guys and then that wire harness plugs into the radios wire that came with it so i went ahead and did that i'll go ahead and post a photo of the wire harness that i got that's the correct one i went ahead <laughs> and did that <laughs> and there's two plugs right one is the main plug and then there's another one that's a small one. The smaller one is just the rear radio and the the rear left radio and the rear right radio. So whenever I plug those two in, it wouldn't work. The screen would just flash auto, 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 the logo. So I ended up taking that rear speaker plug and only have the main plug and now it works so it's really weird now keep in mind that i don't have a rear left speaker because it's been removed so i i, I, I uh so i closed down those wires <coughs> oh there but i'm gonna sh i'm gonna show you some issues that i'm having and if you guys are audio people <coughs> or if you guys have a recommendation in anchorage where i could take it to let me know and also something that's really bugging me is that this light right here is now on <coughs> this light is for the key <coughs> and this light only comes on when you open the driver door and then you close the driver door, it'll stay on for like five seconds so that you can find the keyhole. But now it just stays on constantly. And I can't, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's related to the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this radio and you guys are going to hear some noise. So watch. You guys heard that? It's really annoying. Sorry for the reflection. I wish I could block the reflection. Here's some issue that I'm having with this radio. It does take a while to boot up, like 10 seconds. You can change this logo to any of your car made. I do have it on CarPlay, so I can connect this to my vehicle. Sorry about that. Had to disconnect the CarPlay because my phone was acting up. <coughs> so I have it disconnected. <coughs> so here are the issues that I was having. So that's one of the issues. Whenever I turn it off, it doesn't want to come back on. I don't know why it does that. But it's funny because if I turn on my lights, <coughs> if I turn on my headlights, you see how it lights up? And then you can hear that little buzz noise. Let me turn off the lights. <coughs> so if I turn off the lights, you can't hear it no more. Now it won't come on. The radio won't come on. It's so weird. And if I turn it off, you guys hear that static noise? <coughs> so super, super annoying. And here's that noise. So I need to find out why it's doing all that static noise. <coughs> I need to find why it's humming. And I need to I need to kill that light right here because it's not supposed to be on 24-7. Now, if I turn on the radio, you guys are gonna hear some of the audio. It sounds really bad because I guess it's not. It's I guess something's wrong with the wiring. I know it's not the radio. It's the wiring. So we go into the radio. <clears throat> it's very static.
So that's the issue that I'm having. It's a great radio. I love, I love the cameras and stuff. Uh, one thing I don't really like is that, um, well, this is the dimmer. So once I turn on the dimmer, it gets dim, which is nice. But another thing that I don't like is that, <coughs> for example, <coughs> there's time when I want this radio off. And if I turn off the radio, and every time I turn on the car, that radio turns back on. I don't really like that feature. I wish the radio turns off all the time, and then only when I want it on, I'll press the on button. The factory radio is like that. Once you turn off the factory radio, every time you turn on the car, it doesn't repower itself. <coughs> so I find that really annoying because <coughs> there's gonna be some times where I, I just want the radio to be off. I don't need this to be light up 24 <coughs> seven. So right now, if we try to start it, <coughs> it won't come on. It's so weird. I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, so air time it won't come on. So anybody know what's going on with this? And here's that static noise you guys just heard. It's like that outro static. And then there's that intro static, which is super annoying. <coughs> so that's the issue that I'm having with my radio. If anybody can help me. I want to solve those wiring. I want to have that plug where it goes to the rear speakers. I want to get that plug back in. But I know that if I was to plug that back in, the radio won't work because it's just going to flash, 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 flash. And it won't even let me get to the screen. <clears throat> so I really need to figure out <coughs> what's wrong with my car because I think it's my I think my cruiser. Something's wrong with my wiring cruiser. And I want to do like a full overhaul and at least get all the speakers up. I, when I, I bought this radio because I really just wanted the car play and the maps. I really don't care about too much about this, the music and stuff. But I think I have to do it right because when I bought this vehicle, the rear speaker was removed. Or at least on the driver's side. So I think that might have some interference. And I need, I need to check the other speakers in the back and see if they work or anything like that. I just need to go through all my speakers and maybe replace them or double check that they work. And then I know my wiring, when the harness to the factory radio, I, I soldered it and I heat shrunk it. So I know it's solid, but I think I'm also missing something else. I think you're supposed to bypass some stuff. So if you guys are an audio tech in Anchorage and you guys want to, want to tackle this project, let me know. But I, I need somebody that knows what they're doing and I need somebody that can do it in a timely fashion manner and must have clean work. But overall, this radio is nice. Uh, there are just some things that I that's really annoying right now and I think I can reach I think we can still solve it <coughs> so so that's there um, yeah can't really think of anything else like I said that, that noise when I turn on the lights it's, it's buzzing it's we call it I call it white noise and it's off buzzing so so let me know in the comment section if you guys can help me solve this uh, don't make this video too long, but I'll see you guys next time.